In recent times, Volkswagen, a giant in the automotive world, has been facing a massive crisis in the electric vehicle market. This crisis is so severe that it could even threaten the existence of this iconic car maker. What's even more shocking is the warning given by Volkswagen's CEO that has sent shockwaves throughout the entire EV industry. But why is Volkswagen in such dire straits? What's happening behind the scenes and how will it impact the auto industry as a whole? We're about to uncover the truth. Volkswagen CEO Thomas Schaefer made an alarming statement during a crucial meeting with the company's top executives. He warned them that the roof is on fire, and this declaration was met with an air of urgency that sent shockwaves throughout the company. But what exactly is behind this sense of emergency? And how did Volkswagen accumulate such an enormous debt of $192 billion? To comprehend the gravity of Volkswagen's financial situation, it's essential to put this staggering debt figure into perspective. $192 billion is a colossal amount of money, equivalent to the entire gross domestic product of nations like South Africa and Hungary. This eye-popping debt burden has left Volkswagen in a dire predicament, as the company grapples with the severe financial implications of this massive obligation. However, it's crucial to note that Volkswagen is not the sole German automaker facing a severe financial crisis. BMW and Daimler, two other giants of the automotive industry, are also struggling with significant debts. BMW's debt stands at $151 billion, while Daimler carries a debt burden of $114 billion. The fact that multiple German automotive titans are mired in financial difficulties underscores the gravity of the situation in the industry as a whole. These mounting debts are not merely financial woes on paper. They represent real challenges and vulnerabilities for these companies. The consequences of these financial crises are far-reaching, affecting various aspects of their operations, from research and development to production, marketing, and competitiveness in the global automotive market. Moreover, the situation is exacerbating over time, as losses from their auto departments continue to rise, putting further pressure on these automakers. The urgency in Thomas Schaefer's Roof is on Fire warning is a reflection of the critical financial condition that Volkswagen finds itself in. The colossal debt of $192 billion is an alarming factor, especially when compared to the GDP of entire nations. This situation is not isolated to Volkswagen. It's emblematic of a broader crisis affecting German automakers like BMW and Daimler. The future remains uncertain, and these companies face significant challenges as they grapple with their financial burdens, striving to find solutions to ensure their long-term survival and competitiveness in the ever-evolving automotive industry. But why did Volkswagen leave over 350,000 cars in the desert to rust? The shocking answer lies in the aftermath of the infamous 2015 emissions scandal, where Volkswagen was found cheating emissions tests. This led to $7.4 billion in buyback settlements and the challenge of storing these record vehicles across various locations, including a desert in California and a former football stadium in Michigan. The challenges Volkswagen faces aren't just internal, they also come from external factors. Despite a 48% increase in all-electric vehicle sales year over year, stringent emission and safety regulations are straining the company's resources. Furthermore, a downturn in EV sales in China, where VW had to offer heavy discounts, adds to the pressure. The European Union's plan for 30 million electric cars on European roads by 2030 also raises a question about battery disposal, as most electric vehicles use lithium-ion batteries. One significant blow to Volkswagen sales in Germany was the government's decision to end EV subsidiaries for business customers. This triggered a surge in sales as customers rushed to avail of the subsidiaries before they ended. However, post-subsidiary sales plummeted, particularly impacting Volkswagen, as 70% of electric cars in Germany were bought by business customers. In China, Volkswagen faced competition from BYD and had to reduce prices of its ID3 and ID4 models, impacting profits. A problematic agency model prevented dealers from adjusting prices, and there were questions about the actual demand for electric cars. Volkswagen's response to these challenges includes a change of strategy. The company plans to streamline production by focusing on higher volume models and reducing the number of variants. They're also aiming to double their passenger brand profit margins and are launching new, more affordable EV models. While Volkswagen is facing a tough road ahead, this year seems promising with new cars launching soon. The question remains, can Volkswagen beat Tesla in terms of EV sales? We'll have to wait and see, but one thing is for sure. The EV industry is in for some groundbreaking changes, and this crisis is far from over. Stay tuned for more updates in the world of electric vehicles. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.